Hello, Benny Burrito back here to get another quick video game review in. Today we're going to look at Down in Bermuda. This is a new indie game that just came out a few days ago and it's a puzzle game. I don't play very many puzzle games but I thought I'd give it a shot and it looked really cool. So I saw the trailer and the cool vector graphics uh, really pulled me in. They're very colorful and they will not disappoint if you do decide to get the game. The music it has is very chill, which is good because, I mean, if you're doing a puzzle game, uh, you probably don't want to be a circle pitting in your room or getting any hair helicopters going. You probably just want to vibe. And this, this music's vibing. Take my word for it. And believe it or not, for a puzzle game, it has a, a little bit of a storyline. It's not just about the puzzles, but you're kind of, you're helping this guy Milton try to get back home. And I think that's another noteworthy thing about this game is that there there are a few kind of cool characters that you you start to like. One in particular is the duck named Quack. He uh he's a boss. Quack the duck is a champion amongst uh well the entire animal kingdom. And so at first when I was playing this game, I thought it was like a kids game. And I felt a little awkward being a 31, almost 32 year old playing a child's game. But it kind of grew on me as I got past the second island or so. After the second island, I started to feel like, okay, I can see how an adult, an adult like myself might enjoy this game. Uh, it made me scratch my head a, n a number of times as well. I didn't really expect that. I thought this would be a pushover. Just steamroll all the mechanics. But no, this was... This was a, a challenger game at times. Here, here you see the, the duck. Gotta love that duck. What I thought was cool was each island was pretty unique and different. And they each one came with their own unique level mechanics. Uh, for example, here in this pirate one, you got to work with a cannon. And I thought this was just a blast. Haha, ha, pun intended. Got him. Here I am just blowing up a Kraken in the face, and he doesn't give a shit, but that's not the point. The point is it felt really good to shoot him. Now, some bad things about the game. It's really short. I 100%ed it in three hours, no flex, and again, it does feel like a kid's game, to an extent. Then there is more where it doesn't feel quite as childlike, where more people can get into it, but this game is... It's a very wide open demographic, you know what I mean? So what would I rate this game? I'm gonna give it a solid 7 out of 10. It's a good puzzle game, it's very short, much like this review. It has a few small bugs that might confuse you while you're completing the puzzles, but they're not too bad. And 100% in the game, I don't, not to spoil it, but there's not really anything to spoil. So take that information as you will. I would recommend it, as of right now it's currently on sale, and if you dig puzzle games or you're looking for something to chill with and just vibe out, I think this is the buy you want to make. So with that, I'll see you next week.